Hi, cutie pies. I am Lanikia, and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is the day. This is Days of Our Lives edition. Today is Wednesday, January the twenty fourth, two thousand twenty four. On a scale of one to ten, I'm going to give this one. I mean, it was a six for me. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. We start off by seeing Sloane and Eric. So we see Sloane and Eric together in their apartment. They had a great night's sleep. Eric is about to do his first photo shoot. Um, and Sloan is actually meeting with new clients. So they're like, okay, we got to get some money coming in and we can um, be successful and send our child to college, you know. And then Sloan learns that the first person that Eric is actually going to do a photo shoot with is Leo. And she's like, uh, and he was like, I know, but we, I, I don't turn, I can't, I'm just starting out with my photography business again, and I cannot turn down a job. So Leo comes through. And of course, you know, he's making little remarks, <clears throat> excuse me, with Sloan and everything. And so because of this, um, she says, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and stay. I, I told my client I'm going to be a little late. So then Eric is like, you know what, I have to go and get something out of my bag. And then, oh, I got to go to the car. So he's running around trying to gather everything um, together. I said, so you were not prepared. Um, but anyways, and Leo and Sloan talk. And so they're going back and forth about, you know, you better not tell Eric anything. Oh, I'm working at the paper again. And, you know, Lady Whistleblower has all the secrets of people. And then he starts telling Sloan, you're, you know, you're on, you don't have emotions. Nicole is a loving mother and a caring person. And he's going on and on and telling Sloan how bad she is. And she was like, what are you talking about? And he says, I think you know what I mean. And I said, what's happening here <laughs> is there something else going on that we don't know about i don't know child y'all tell me what you think so then we see um sloan excuse me so then we see eric comes back and sloan says you know what actually i have to leave so he leaves and that leaves eric and uh leo <clears throat> excuse me excuse me to do their photo shoot together and so while they're doing a photo shoot leo is not saying anything he's actually on his best behavior and so then sloan is so nervous and worried that she texts leo you better not say anything to eric and because of this um leo is just like hmm lady whistleblower has work to do and i said what is he about to write because it feels like there's another story going on that he's going to expose sloan of right and so um with that he's Eric says, you know, I, I hope you go out and find some stories or whatever and everything is successful. He said, sometimes it's right under your nose. And then he leaves and Eric kind of has this puzzled look on his face. He said, all right, let's, let's keep it moving. This storyline is dragging for me. Um, since Nicole is away, we obviously believe they're not going to expose the baby because Nicole has left for Italy, right? Um, so it's going to be a while for this whole thing to get exposed. Uh, let's move on, child. So then we see Brady, before Leo went over to Eric's to get his photos taken, to do his headshots and everything, he actually ran into Kristen and Brady. Now, Kristen and Brady are having, um, Brady is having a date with Rachel or visitation with Rachel because, you know, he missed the last one. And Kristen keeps bringing it up uh, like you missed the last one, like you know why he missed it. And so Rachel is asking Brady, is Tate okay? And he is, he, she's like, yeah, he tells her guests he's um doing much better so then we see that leo comes through and he sees all this and he's like i'm so happy that you guys are together uh a mother and father with their daughter and, and like everybody wanted to know was y'all gonna get back together and i guess this proves that y'all are and so they were like go on leo go on and he's um he's telling them about movies you know he was like y'all should go to the movies and so he picked out a movie for rachel and she was like oh yeah i want to see that so then they um, move right along, right? And Rachel tells them, listen, I don't, I don't care what Leo say. I don't want y'all together. And they were like, what? And she said, because y'all fight and argue too much for me. I'd rather y'all be separate. And he said, so you feel like it's better for you not to see me as much? She said, if it keeps the peace, yeah, I'm cool with that. And then she was like, okay, let me go and get some snacks and stuff for the movies, you know, because it's a little bit cheaper. 
and she sees a friend so she leaves off and brady gets so upset with Kristen because he says you're poisoning my daughter against me and she said no i'm not uh, she sees us arguing and she doesn't want to see that so that's the why she feels that way and he was like no it's because of you i said listen i don't have time for you two to go back and forth on this again i, I like uh, you two get it together <laughs> you know one minute you're nice to each other then the next minute y'all are calling each other names one person is poisoning one child against the other one both y'all are up to no good when it comes like brady is just as bad as Kristen sometimes when he wants what he wants uh, mitchin and chloe he did some things trying to get chloe to himself just for her to leave with philip even though they not they didn't leave together as a couple but okay y'all anyways Kristen is just like listen you're gonna have to let some of this resentment you feel towards me go and i said oh my gosh because then the next thing you know she told me she wants to be with brady i said what no i don't want to see this anymore i do not want to see this again and i like Kristen, but can y'all can we please move her along off of brady like i like that she was kind of done with him and not and i said so in order for her to have a storyline she has to like brady let's move on so brady and Kristen, rachel comes back and she um they tell her that for the sake of everyone um that they'll try to you know stop fighting and everything and and brady told Kristen that he wants to be with somebody that'll sit, accept his children <clears throat> excuse me um and she tells him well i hope you know until you find that person you don't mind hanging with us and all that but she did tell brady it's a shame you have two two women that are the mother of your children and you don't want to be with either one of them like you're vehement um vehemently does do not want to be with them now like that's a shame stop having children um so then we go over here to alex and Teresa. alex comes in from his morning run and Teresa is up in here packing why because she once she feels guilt i don't know um if this is also part of Teresa's plan but i think she really feels guilty about what she's done with alex and you know and so she's up in there packing and alex was like i wasn't expecting to see this i was hoping that you would stay and she says i think it's best if i go to california i got a red eye booked and so i'm gonna um leave out i'm gonna leave out and go to finish eating finish eating and go to california uh, to be with her mom and then wait the month to see tate and then she's gonna go and you know try to find him and see him and everything and he, alex convinces her that no you need to be here with me and she's um, embarrassed and she was about to she it seemed like she was about to tell him what she had done but of course you know she wasn't gonna tell that um so he just tells her you know be here with me i need you here i mean i've been enjoying having you here and i'm really starting to fall for you which was the long con you were looking for teresa like don't get a guilty conscience now and i like teresa but if you gonna do the long con do it if not then leave this man alone mila then leave this man alone to be in peace but she ends up going go ahead and going ahead and deciding to stay so that's it on that so then we go over here and we see harris jada and rafe are together and they want to update on you know um talking he tell rafe tells them i told ava and um stefan to come down so that we could talk to them about the you know investigate about the drugs and harris says listen i don't even think that's necessary i think right now we need to be more um focused on clyde weston and they were like why and so off camera he updates them on everything and jada was like i can't believe he threatened you like out like just came out and threatened you um and rafe was like that's clyde for you um but he's really dangerous so we need to um look into him and and make sure you know that if it is him that's behind all of this we really need to focus in on that and look into it so that we can try to bust him and i'm just like excuse me i'm just like clyde is in prison 
just how the well i guess he uh, they do have dirty cops and all that so they can't do all that but anyway harris um steps away for a minute so that gives jada and rape time to talk and he said what you do last night and she said oh i was just so he was he was like i thought you was gonna come over to my place she was like i was just so exhausted i just went home and went to bed he said jada why are you lying to me and she said what, 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 what you mean and he told her uh i saw where you pulled uh teresa's credit cards and all that and she so she does end up telling him about brady um and what's going on with him um and what was going on with Teresa? and he was like man is she okay now and he, she was like yes everything is fine and and she says i'm sorry i i just didn't have enough time to tell you and he was like no no, no i completely understand so anyways harris ends up coming back and they're talking about clyde and and he tells them you know he, he went to check up on lucas and they actually um are moving lucas to a, a different facility and rafe says okay where are they moving them to and harris says no disrespect but i feel like i should be the only one to know because we we know we got a dirty cop possibly with clyde and um rafe is like yeah you're right i said no i do not feel like <laughs> I feel like Harris should not be the only one to know where they are moving Lucas. Like they at least need to tell Kate who's not going to tell anyone because I feel like something's going to happen to Harris. And if it does, uh, they're not going to know where Lucas is. I don't know. <laughs> That's just me. Y'all I'm done. That's all I got for you. Let me get back to work child. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and I will see you tomorrow for an all new episode of what happened on the soaps days of our lives edition. Listen, I'm, tr I try to, uh, put it up there for you. Um, and that's one of the reasons I even stopped putting it on this channel. Cause it's like, it just keeps getting, they get take down, taken down by this Nola, uh, Nolly. I mean, and so I'm, I'm trying to put it up, but we'll see child. All right. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.